Okay, so we're reviewing the features of the skull. We'll start off with the bones, the main ones. So from the rostral side, you have the incisive right here. It has a palatine fissure. Next to it, the paired nasal bones. And then the maxilla frontal. And this little bump here is the zygomatic process of the frontal bone. This is the zygomatic bone. And this whole structure is the zygomatic arch. This is the zygomatic process of the temporal bone, the temporal bone, which is this. Here you have your parietal bones. And here is the occipital bone. Oh, and a tiny little bone here is the lacrimal bone. Oh, the other bottom ones. And, okay, as for the side, here you have the palatine bone. That's here. Your sphenoid complex and your pterygoid, which you just see the little pointy side from here. Onto the foramina, we'll start with, I guess, okay, the foramina in the sphenoid process, sorry, complex. Um, we'll start off with the first one over here. That is the optic foramen, through which runs the optic nerve, cranial nerve 2. The second one right here is the orbital fissure, and cranial nerves 2, I'm oh sorry, 3, 4, uh, a branch of 5, and 6. A branch of 5? I'll go through that. Okay. Uh, so cranial nerve 3 would be your... Oh my goodness. Can you pause? Okay. It would be your oculomotor. Four is trochlear. And five, the branch that runs through it, would be the ophthalmic. And next to that here is the rostral alar foramen. And the second branch of the trigeminal, which is the maxillary, runs through that. And here you have your oval foramen, and here is the rostral, oh sorry, the caudal alar foramen, and through the oval foramen runs the mandibular branch of the trigeminal. And here's another foramen. In the maxillary bone, you have the infraorbital foramen, through which runs the infraorbital artery, vein, and nerve. And the infraorbital nerve is from the maxillary branch of the trigeminal. And so it leads into the infraorbital canal. And through the other side, you would call this the caudal opening. No, it's the maxillary foramen. Well, okay, the caudal opening of the infraorbital <laughs> canal is the maxillary foramen. There you go. Uh, and two little Can you point it back here. I don't know if I got it. It's right there. That's the maxillary. The big one okay. is the maxillary foramen. And you have these two little guys here. The top one is the sphenopalatine foramen. And the one under that is the caudal palatine foramen. Okay. Oh, one more thing or two more things. Here is the tympano-occipital fissure, through which runs cranial nerves 9, 10, and 11, so 9 glossopharyngeal, 10 vagus, and 11 accessory, and also the internal carotid and internal jugular. And the biggest one is the foramen magnum, spinal cord, and all those fun things. Oh, and can you tell me also the, um, the, the bones on the top here that you can see? On the like at, at the top, the palatine um, fissure? She said that before. Oh, she did? Yeah. Well, palatine fissure. Well, then I wasn't paying attention. And there's a bunch of the sphenoid bones. Do you want to do the teeth? Okay. No? And for the teeth, very quickly. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I said everything. So. so the formula is three, one, four, two for the top and three for the bottom. So that's from the incisive, you have your three incisors, your one canine. This is from the maxillary now, the maxilla now. The one canine, the four premolars, and then the two molars. 
so oh, and uh, the bottom. I'm going on to the mandible here. Okay, we'll do the teeth first and then the foramen. Foramina. So it's almost the same formula. You have three, one, four, but you have three molars instead of the two that's on the upper mouth. <laughs> so three, even though he's kind of missing a few over there. One, <laughs> and there should be four, there's a gap, four, and three. One, one number is this so the big yeah. one is a good marker for the start <laughs> of the molars. And for the foramina, here you have three mental foramina, the rostral mental foramen, middle mental foramen, and caudal mental foramen. And as well on the medial view, you have your mandibular foramen. And that's it. Yay.